Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Francis Cecilia Wube. In today's video, I'll be telling you life here in Morocco. If you want to come to Morocco, you are a student or you want to stay here in Morocco, that you need to know before coming here in Morocco. Um, people have been contacting me on Instagram, asking me some questions. So I want to do this video so that you have a better knowledge of life here in Morocco. But before I get started, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that notification bell, like, comment, and share. So the first thing I want to talk about is the language. Uh, as long as you are in Morocco, you are a student here in Morocco, you are going to study in French. So if you have been given a scholarship, normally they will let you do your French either in your country or neither here in Morocco. Like for me, I did my own French in my country, while some will come here and do their French here in Morocco. But it depends to the government. So the second thing I want to talk about is their food. Morocco, they have a whole lot of street food. So if you are the type that likes eating outside, you have a whole lot of street food. And also, if you are the type that like cooking, like their vegetables, their food stuff, they are reasonable, you know, compared to what I was expecting before coming to Morocco. Their food stuff, it is affordable. So the third thing I want to talk about is their transportation. In Morocco, they have a whole lot of means of transportation. They have uh, taxis. They have buses, they have trains if you want to travel from one city to the other. And also the taxis, you are going to pay according to the distance you cover. Transportation is not that of a problem here in Morocco. The fourth thing I want to talk about is the housing. One of the most demanding questions I've been getting. The housing, if you are a student, normally what you do is rent an apartment and share the rooms. That's what we normally do. And the light bill the water bill other expenses you guys will share it amongst yourself so that's how housing work here and also i think they have a furnished apartment but the apartment i would normally rent as a student which is a kind of reasonable they are empty apartments so you'll be the one that will buy your stuff for yourself just decorate your room the way you want they also have like furnished apartments but for students normally like we rent an apartment and just share the room the next thing i want to talk about is religion <laughs> guys before coming to morocco i have this ideology that like moroccans they are muslim of course like majority of them they are muslim so i have this mentality that they will not allow you to like if you are from another religion they will not allow you to to practice your religion to my surprise when i came it was not like that so before coming here i thought i will not be able to attend service and all but i was so happy that i found my church here in morocco you know <laughs> I was so excited because of that because I wanted not to attend another church since I'm already used to my own church and I'm so happy that my church is here. In Christian, they will allow you to practice your religion and there are churches here in Morocco. Before I finish this video, I want to tell you guys that Morocco is really beautiful. You know, yes, it's an African country, but Morocco is beautiful for the beauty. They have lots and lots and lots of places to explore. If you want to explore, like they have lots of places, tons of places to explore. So guys, that's the end of my video. I will highly encourage you to come to Morocco. Morocco is a very beautiful and nice country. Lots of places to explore. You enjoy the experience. Your culture is beautiful. So thank you very much for watching subscribe to my youtube channel click that notification bell for any video that i'll be uploading like comment and share bye <laughs>